up YouTube, back for another video. Firstly, I've got myself one of these gimbals. I've had it a while, this is the first time I've used it, so things look a bit wonky. Bear with me. But today, I'm starting off uh, what I'm hoping is going to be quite a big video in terms of this is my new suspension video. So I bought my suspension, the new suspension, a couple of weeks back, about three or four weeks back. And um, it's Friday now. It's going in for fitting on Monday morning, along with the timing belt doing as well. Um, but I've just got everything unpacked just to give it a check over, um, see if everything's ready. Um, so we'll see what, let's see what I've bought. Right, okay, so what have we got? We have got a Transport HQ Solo NSL uh, coilover suspension kit. So I've uh, been thinking about a coil set of coilovers for, again, probably since back end of last year. Um, when I first got the van, I sort of looked at the, uh, you know, the B14 kit from Bill Stein, but um, a bit out of my price range at the time. I've had a couple of sets of springs on, on it, which I'll talk about in a second, but I've decided, you know, I'm going to keep this on for a while. I've decided time's come to actually invest in something proper. Um, and this is what we decided to go for. Reason being main, mainly um, down to two factors. One, which is Bill Stein manufactured suspension, which is a big thing for me in terms of quality. And the second thing is the actual drop that um, this, set, uh, this set gives you. So looking at B14, B14 comforts, comforts and they're only really going down to drop a 70 mil and you watch the transport HQ videos and they sort of say well yeah it drops 70 mil but you don't want to run it at 70 mil for sort of optimum ride quality so this seemed like the logical chart uh, the logical choice i did look at the project twin project what was it? project twin some or other that's give the say i think that was a 60 to 90 mil drop these are a 65 to 95 mil drop so i think we're probably going to run hopefully run these about eight 85 mil and i've sort of set these preliminary preliminary should i say hang on get my gimbal on it about 10 mil off the bottom so i'm hoping to run these the front so run it about 85 mil at the front maybe 80 mil at the back something like that i've sort of said uh, oh we're going all over the place now i'm uh sorry me my surname is not spielberg um so yeah, that were the two main factors. I also like quite like Transport HQ as a company as well. Seem quite you know, between quite passionate about suspension and things. Got the spring kit, so the uh, the adjusters for the spring kit that'll be the um, that'll be the setting for the rear. But yeah, looking forward to getting this on. Looking forward to improving the ride quality. Um, sort of getting the cheap springs off the van which i've had on for about three years the latest set and uh, i suspect i'm going to be over the moon with these but we'll see uh, it's sunday now just finishing off this segment of this video so we've had a look at the kit i just want to quickly talk about the spent uh, well the springs i've had on the van today because i'm on my second set of springs doing beyond the standard ones so the first set of springs i actually got for it first set of lowering springs were uh, I just got the IBAC 30mm lowering springs, which are the star, the springs that come with the factory Sportline model. So you can actually get them, you know, if you buy a Sportline, you know, out of the factory, they're the springs that come on it. So they fit with the standard dampers, excellent, brilliant. Did them, had them for about a year, but they were quite good actually, quite a good ride. Did reduce body roll a bit and, you know, it did lower a bit, lower the van a bit, but only by about 30mm, which you know I'll, I'll be looking at it and you know it just didn't look right it looked good but it, it, it just didn't look low enough so we decided then to go a bit lower so second set of springs earned on for these cobra whatever they are 40 mil drop these are absolutely terrible these have been up van for about about three years i've had these on and i've sort of put up with them got them cheap off the back of the having the 30 mil eye back springs for some reason i want to go a bit lower and i'll i know i'll get some 40 mils big mistake um when i came out of the garage it's same garage that's going to fit the coilovers on monday he came out 
when I went to pick it up and just said, look, you've downgraded here big time from the eye back. So I'd say avoid this spring. Um, do not recommend it at all, no matter how uh, cheap, um, you know, a well-known van supplier that row from me is uh, are selling them. Do not go near this spring. Um, hateful things Co coupled with, you know, a 27540 tyre, which is massively overrated. It's, it, the van just bounces along. There's just a very faint vibration and bounce suspension with the, coupled with the overrated tyres as well. So stay well away from these. I'm going to be very happy to see the back of these. She looks absolutely mega. We're now dropped about 85 mil up front. And obviously, our rear's done to match. I'll show you that in a sec. The ride, these have been on two weeks now. It's different gravy. The way this thing corners at sort of 30, 40, 50 mile an hour now. I'll show you back. It's a different level. I've just taken my cousin out and I've been round around about at 45 mile an hour and you can believe it what it can and can't do now. Solo NSL coil lovers, just buy them. If you're thinking about buying them, just buy them. It's, uh, it's a no-brainer. It's just a no-brainer. The ride is a lot softer, a lot more forgiving, a lot comfier, but the weight corners now is, oh, it's unbelievable. When I picked it up and Gary rang me up, my mechanic he, he was sort of excited to tell me how well it, it rode before i'd even picked it up so ooh, it's been a bit skillish i would say a big thumbs up from me i'm not jeremy clarkson so i'm not going to sit there and drive it and tell you how you know try and describe it to you but yeah uh, before the, my previous car before this I had an audi a5 and it handles like that it handles like an audi a5 um or you know that that sort of class of vehicle it's it's night and day absolute night and day um the ride quality is fantastic the cornering the speed you can corner it i probably shouldn't be saying that but the, this the cornering speeds now i would say griff fire staying safer the, the body rolls reduced i think i'm going to get some h and r anti roll bars to go with them and i think with those on i think it'd be like a racing car but extremely comfortable so solo NSL coil lovers, big thumbs up from me. I watched Dan James's video as well, so I got a discount code. Uh, so uh, as well, so I got a little bit of money off. I think about five percent off them. Ordering them direct from Transport HQ. So I'd suggest go and watch Dan James's channel as well. He's fantastic. Been watching him for a while, and you can get a discount. I'm not going to give the code, so go and watch his videos and get the code because he's fantastic. But yeah, con overall conclusion is absolutely mega. And just look at it. We're about four, about 45 mil lower than we were on this crappy Cobra Springs. A lot better now. Right. If you like this video and it's been informative, please, you know, give me a like and subscribe. It really helps out. But yeah, definitely get yourself a pair of these. See you in the next one.